Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back on Dauntless once again and today we are fighting the Dead Eye Quill Shot. F for today's video I'm gonna show you all how to beat the Dead Eye Quill Shot well with two teammates at least in under seven minutes. And I am not using repeaters in this video. No 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 I'm not I am now using my very new hammer made made from Valomir uh I items and drops. But anyway guys, before we get further into this video, I hope that you all would subscribe if you haven't yet and turn on the bell too. Also, uh, to like, leave a like on this video and comment down below anything related to the video. Let's get to the like goal of 90 likes. And also, share this video to, to anyone who want to share it too. And anyway, let's get back into the video. We're just waiting for this one guy to ready up and then that's gonna be it. But I'm gonna show you all how to do this. Especially some hammer tips, since the hammer for me is probably the best kind of weapon in the game. Since you could do so much, such as the stagger and interrupt and the combos. Yeah, they're, they're lit once you are able to land them. So here you go. First we, first we land here in the, in the usual place. And this guy is a neutral type, so uh, like any weapon with an element on it, like Anything not neutral, which which is basically most of the weapons, they're not gonna deal like extra damage on him. They're just they're just gonna deal like the normal damage that it does, which is uh, I mean that's fine since there are a lot of strong weapons out here. But I, I didn't mean to swing the hammer. Okay, I I accidentally clicked, but I didn't mean to do that. But uh, now we're just finding the monster. He's supposed to be here, and. Any minute now, he's gonna be here. He, we're almost there. We're almost there. You just gotta, just gotta go here. And the, the video is clearly not that long. It's less than ten minutes, so of course we did this. We were able, we were able, to, we were able to beat him in under seven minutes. So I'm gonna show how. So here we are first, but again, but then again, I have teammates, so they obviously helped me accomplish this. Okay, so this guy, the dead eye quill shot, has attacks like that, where he shoots out those quills spikes and they don't do poison but they do a lot of damage like, and th th that's not the problem the problem is he has so many kinds of moves for this and he also shoots out a lot a lot of the time and so the combo I just did there if you saw that was like three hits like it, it's basically important you gotta do three hits then you gotta do the you gotta do the final either sla either smash or either slam forgot what it's called but yeah, it has either in it. So you, you, first, you gotta press like the three, the three um main attack buttons. So like, if you're on console, that's gonna that's gotta be like X or X or box. But if you're on PC, then that's the that's the left click of the mouse. And then after your third hit, you you press you press triangle or uh, you press triangle or Y on the console, and then you right click on the PC. Then that's gonna give you your either. It's gonna give you your either slam. And um, best tip for dodging that side arrow, I mean not side, that side quill thing or side spike shoot turret thing for out of his back. Yeah, just stay in the opposite direction. Like he's only turning to one side at a time. So like just dodge opposite of where he's turning. Unless you're in the opposite direction already, then just stay there. So here you go, one, two, three, and then you do the left click then it's gonna do that either either smash which is really nice but then again the best part to hit behemoth a behemoth with if you're using a hammer it's not it's no it don't do it randomly the best part is the head since that does 100 percent 100 percent stagger damage and the leg the leg is the second best part since it does 50 percent but anyway uh I'm just here uh, hitting the legs first and maybe the back since I am not that used to it yet. Like I, I'm not get, I'm not get so good at the hammer but then again it's really good. And uh, hammers can stagger really well. Well that's not me staggering but yeah. They have the most stagger damage in the game and they can also interrupt with, with their special. But it's not showcased here since I'm not sure if you can interrupt this behemoth since not every behemoth could be interrupted and I don't know how to interrupt this one if ever you can. But I'm just trying to like um, be able to land the full combo since if, if you if he if a behemoth hits you midway while you're swinging like your normal swings 
then you have to do, you have to do it all over again before you can do the aether slam so we're just gonna find we're just gonna have to find him again since he escaped into the second phase then uh and then okay so we, we just healed up for now and of course my teammates and i we want this we like to collect the omni stone since that's uh, that's like some good loot right there and of course i'm just following him since i think he's experienced well, by the final looks fit, you know, most of the randoms I find, they're usually like way more experienced than I am, and that that's why, and that's why this is good. But if you if you want to fight this guy one on one, then that's something else. Well, you might be able to use this tactic, but you gotta be way more careful, and maybe upgrade. But this is the max I can upgrade, and but I even though I can upgrade to the max right now. It's not even in the recommended, so I just got some teammates as usual. So here you go, um, one, two. Yes, but there, see, once he interrupted me before I got my third one, so yeah, it stopped. And these red ones, when when he's in rage mode or either charged, he's able to shoot these ones very, very far. It's like I'm already here, so you you gotta run. Like, don't just run randomly. You also gotta look at it and also dodge if you need to. Uh, yeah, so you know you can also like put your weapon back or sheath it, so you know you you can you can run faster and not lose stamina. Well, not lose stamina, but I'm not sure if you run faster. And uh, he's back in either. I mean, he's still in either charged. And there, <sighs> yep. Don't stay too close to him when he's st when he's shooting spikes up, since that's just gonna ruin it. Uh, I mean like. Because his spikes are both far range and close range, so no matter where you are, uh, the spikes can reach you. Especially if it's the long one, like the one where he can shoot continuously. Because like some of it, he only shoots like one round and that's it. But some, he goes like he shoots multiple waves. And yeah, when he lies down on his on his side, you you start getting out of the way. You start getting out of where his top is facing. Like which side his top is facing. There you go, he's back to shooting these ones again. Which is really annoying. And now now he's going all over like like it's a fountain, dude. It's a fountain of spikes and quills, uh, whatever these are. But there you go. He's dead. And the time will, sh be, will show up here. It's gonna show up. Dead I close shot slain. Okay, see, 6 minutes 44, I got team rank D because probably my weapon isn't very damaging, but I didn't really die here. But anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching this video, I hope you all enjoyed. Once again, subscribe, turn on the bell, leave a like, and comment, share this video too. And yeah, that's all for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I hope uh, you're enjoying more Dauntless and that, that you like me using a new weapon. But anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching once again. I hope you're gonna stay tuned for more, and yeah, I will see you all next time. Peace out. Bye, guys.